Friends and family remember a two-year-old who died after a horrific case of child abuse. And tonight, the family is devastated by this loss. KBC 9's Scott McDonald joins us live from Kansas City, where a memorial has been set up. Scott? That's right, Leonard. It's right behind me. We'll take you over so you can take a look. You've got some teddy bears, balloons, a candle, even handwritten notes for little two-year-old boy Lorenzo who lived at this apartment. And this is actually the scene of that crime. This apartment here is where it happened on Friday night. And one woman who lived inside came out and she told me that every time she'd bring her dog out here for a walk, little Lorenzo would see it and chase that puppy around the parking lot. And folks in this area trying to wrap their head around why someone would hurt that little two-year-old boy. It was here at this apartment in downtown Kansas City where little Lorenzo was left in the care of his mother's boyfriend. What happened after that is painful to hear. Heart-wrenching details of violent abuse. Details that boyfriend admitted during questioning, according to police. Mursad Hamadovic was arrested on multiple charges. Here's just some of his description as to what he did, saying he jumped off the bed and up in the air and came down on the victim's chest and his forearms in front of him. He did this twice. Lorenzo had brain injuries, along with that, a lacerated liver, dying after a short time on life support. It's likely murder charges could be coming for Hamadovic. Right now, prosecutors are simply waiting for the final medical examiner's report before they move forward. Reporting live in Kansas City, Scott McDonald, KNBC 9 News. Hamadovic remains in jail on a half million dollar bond.